We've seen the travel advisories from West Coast governors about quarantining for 14 days when coming in from out of state and warnings from the CDC about getting together for Thanksgiving. Well, they may be having an impact where a week ago the TSA was expecting a 45 percent increase on busy days around Thanksgiving. Now that increase is only going to be about 20 percent. One only has to look at dining in the airport central terminal to get a look at the impact. Five sit down restaurants are now closed. The airport had to get a special exemption from the governor's office to keep its central eating area open with extra space. Things are changing fast. An example, this sign went up by direction of the governor's office. This seating area is closed. As passengers arriving and departing debate how to deal with the holidays, some are unaware of the West Coast wide travel advisory to quarantine 14 days if you're coming back from out of state. I hadn't heard about it. I knew that there was like major shutdowns starting to go on, but other than that, I didn't really know much. And there's some pushback. It's a hard balance. Yeah. It's a hard balance, I yeah. would say. This couple heading back to L.A. considering driving back up for Christmas. I understand the precautions, but I think people need to be smart enough to make their own decisions with family in particular. Aviation is one of the industries COVID has hit hardest, and after a modest rebound, the numbers are dropping again. Look at the black line in this chart from the airline trade group A4A, showing the numbers of passengers on flights starting to sag. For the airport... Our goal here is to make sure that thing, everything is safe if people decide to travel. It's that decision that people are going to make on their own. And already the University of Washington's Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation was finding that even into early November, there's less movement on the part of people around the nation based on cell phone data. Now IHME is saying because of that data, which really doesn't track airlines versus cars, it's sort of like everything in on the cell phone data, it is starting to flatten the curve a little bit when they project out in February, which could be the worst month for COVID in Washington state. At SeaTac Airport, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.